Can you imagine the irresistible aroma of honey miso glazed chicken wings baking in the oven? I'm sure it's enough to make your mouth water, and rightfully so. They're super easy to make and will be gone in a flash. As with all wings, it's good to clean and prepare them first. Take the paper towels and dry the wings well, removing any moisture or other residue off of them. I personally would not recommend washing them. When you add water through washing and rinsing, you give those bacteria on the chicken a way to travel around your kitchen. Thus, only drying them off is more than enough. Now, let's separate the wings into a drumette and a winget, as we've done in my other video about my chicken wings. You can check it out up in the corner or down below in the description. Place your wing flat down on the board and cut the skin membrane with your knife tip. Make a small incision until you can fill the joint. Put your knife to the side and take the wing into your hands and pop out the joint. Once you see that the joint popped out, place the wing back onto the board, take your knife and slice it along the joint. Now you have a lovely drumette and a winget. If there are any extra bits left on the wing's tips, you can cut those away as well if you wish, or just leave them as they are. After we've done with the preparation of the wings, it's time to whip up the marinade we'll be using for the wings. In a bowl, let's combine three garlic cloves that we will crush, half a teaspoon of grated or liquid ginger, three teaspoons of miso paste, 3 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of sesame oil, 3 tablespoons of honey, and a quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. Mix everything well until we get a smooth sauce. Put your chicken wings into a Ziploc bag. Pour the prepared marinade over the chicken and close the bag. Now massage the wings with the marinade well so it coats every little nook and cranny of the wings. Place the bag into the fridge for at least two hours, better yet, overnight. Preheat the oven to 210 degrees Celsius. And in the meantime, let's prepare a baking pan lined with parchment paper and on top a wire rack. This will allow that all the extra fat drips down and you are left with juicy and crispy wings. We must oil the wire rack as well, so the wings won't stick to it. Move your marinated wings from the Ziploc bag to the prepared and oiled baking rack. How you place them is up to you. I like to put the wingettes on the top and drumettes on the bottom. Make sure there is some space between them so the warm air can circulate evenly around them. One more little tip. Place them with the flat side facing downwards first. This will assure that the bulkier parts get cooked first and we avoid any raw parts later. Once the oven is hot and you've arranged your wings as you prefer, Transfer them to the oven and cook them with a the fan on for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the strength of your oven. In the meantime, pour the leftover marinade from your bag into a small bowl or ramekin. We will be using it to brush over the wings when we turn them over. Time to turn the wings over. As you can see, they are already browning nicely. If you notice that one side is baking faster than the other rest, move them around a bit. Take your marinade and brush it all over the wings. It will make them even tastier and juicier. Place them back into the oven for additional 5 to 7 minutes. Once golden brown and delicious, Take them out of the oven and transfer them to a serving plate. 
And there you have it! The wings are fresh out of the oven and so irresistible you can just pick them up right away. But be careful, do not burn your fingers. You can dip them in any salsa that you like. I prefer the plain or with pure sour cream. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist and soft, just the way they're meant to be. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video and do let me know down in the comments below how your wings turned out and in what sauces did you dip your wings in. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more delicious bites from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!